welcome back to lesson four. Today we're going to be doing my favourite sport and that's going to be football. We're going to be looking at dribbling and keeping the ball nice and close to our feet. So all the equipment you'll need is going to be a football of course and today I'm going to be using some cones. So probably grab four or five cones or if you don't have cones find jumpers, water bottles, put on the floor. Okay I'll give you a little bit of time to collect the equipment. Let me know when you're ready. Push start when you're ready. Perfect. Now by now, you should always know that we do a warm up at the start. Let's say we're going to do a fan's favourite. This one's called Captain's Coming, but with a trick. This time, we're going to be doing Captain's Coming with a ball. So make sure you grab your ball and it's next to you. I'll give you five seconds to get yourself a ball. So five, four, three, two, and one. Hopefully, you've got your ball in front of you. First of all, Captain's Coming will be standing still. And if I shout Captain's Coming, you have to put your foot on top of the ball and stand like you're looking at the captain. Perfect, okay? So just keep the ball here, do a little jog on the spot, little jog on the spot. And if I say captain's coming, whoop, we use our bottom of our foot to put on the ball. Perfect, we can't move. Well done, that's really simple. Now, whilst we're just jogging on the spot, if I say scrub the deck, we have to move the ball side to side using our insides and our big toes. We have to try and move it across the floor. See how the ball's just staying stuck to the floor? We're scrubbing the deck. Captain's coming! Perfect, well done. Our foot on top of the ball, it shouldn't be moving. Good. Remember, this one's called scrub the deck. Ball's scrubbing the deck, keeping it nice and clean, using our insides. If the ball goes off to the side, just bring it back. Dribble, keep it nice and close. Ready, captain's coming! Can't move. Well done. Now, this one's called climb the ringing. When I say climb the ringing, you have to put your sole, what's the bottom of your foot on top of the ball, bring it off and bring the other foot up. So you go one, two, three, four. Ready? So if I say climb the ringing, we put our sole on top of the ball and we're climbing the ringing. You see? Perfect. Scrub the deck. Keeping it nicely on the floor. Not too big. Ball's not going far away. Stay in my feet. Captain's coming. Well done. Good. No one should be moving. Ready? Climb the ringing. Just little taps on the ball. We're not jumping on it. Perfect. And captain's coming. Okay, our new one. This is called upside down sea turtle. When I say that, we have to lay on top of the ball. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then we stand back up. All good? So captain's coming. <laughs> Scrub the deck. <laughs> Scrub the deck, keep the ball nice on the floor. Using our insides. Climb the ring in. Ooh. Ooh. Nice and climbing. Upside down sea turtle. One, two, three, four, and five. We get back up. Captain's coming. Good listening. Well done. So, our next one is going to be peg leg gym. Peg leg gym's only got one leg. So, one leg stays on the floor, the other goes around the ball. Ready? Goes around the ball. Like that. You might go to your other foot. Let me try and go around the other foot. Can you do four on each foot? Captain's coming. Perfect. Ready? Now, we're going to add in this. If I say captain's coming, you're not allowed to move until I say the word relax. Okay? So now I said relax. Whew. Perfect. We can now move. So we're going to do scrub the deck. Keep it going. Climb the ring in. Good. Well done. Keep it going. Upside down sea turtle. Four and five. Up we get. And then we're going to do peg leg gym. Arr, one, two, three, four, and five. Can you go to your other foot? One, two, 
three, four, and five. Captain's coming. You remember, you're not allowed to move. You have to wait until I say the magic word, relax. Relax. Scrub the deck. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep the ball nice and control, so it's not running away. Upside down sea turtle. Up you get. Uh, climb the ring in. Bye. Keep it going. And last one, peg leg gym. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Go to the other foot. One, two, three, four, and five. Captain's coming. Woo. Well done, relax. That's our warm up. Push pause for now. When you're ready, push start. Okay, I'm back from just having a drink from that warm up. Hope you enjoyed it. We're now going to move on to our dribbling. And what we need first of all is we've got our ball ready, and now we've got our starting position with these cones, and then I'm going to put down a stopping area. One, two, three, four, five steps away, and that's where I'm always going to stop and start. Okay, so first of all, all we're going to do with the ball, we're just going to go up to that cone and stop the ball. So we're going to dribble and stop the ball. Perfect, so look, I dribble, and when I get near the stopping cone, I use my sole to stop. So ready? I dribble. Nice and easy, stop the ball still. I don't want to do big touches where I'm chasing it, it's nowhere near me. I want to be doing small touches so the ball's always near my feet, like it's all glued to my foot. So I go little touches, stop, ball's always near me. Small touches, it's always near me, and stop. We're going to try and do five more, ready? We do small, we haven't lost the ball, and stop. Perfect. If you've done it all on your one foot, you might go on to the other foot now. Go to small touches, and stop. Small touches, and stop. Small touches, stop. How many can we do? Little touches, and stop the ball. We don't want the ball going past our coat. So the small touches, stop. Perfect. Now, well done. Looking at small touches, ball is glued to our foot. Shouldn't be running away. It's got a new challenge. Where your big toe is, and this whole area here is called your inside, okay? So now you can only use your inside of your feet to dribble. So watch me, I'm gonna be like a penguin. I'm gonna move like a penguin and do little touches all the way to my stop. Ball's always near, ready? Insides little touches and then stop inside stop easy keep trying it with a penguin we don't want to lose our egg the balls our egg we don't want to lose it perfect do a couple more times inside we don't lose the ball stop ready inside when you start getting it a bit harder or easier, if it's easier, can you go faster but keep the ball as close? If you find it hard, you might do it slowly. Do small sets. Easy. Can you do it then quicker? And have how many touches can you do? And then stop. Ready? So if you're finding it hard, slower, easy, we're going to go as fast as we can and see how close we can keep it. Perfect. Now, that was our inside. We're now going to be using our outside so our big toes on the inside our little toe our pinky is on the outside so watch using my outside i'm just going to dribble with my outside and stop i'm then going to swap foot use my outside stop using my little toe still always doing small touches the ball should never go away from me little touches stop ready little 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 and stop. Little. Perfect. And stop. We're going to do four more. So two on my right foot and two on my left. So I go, watch. One on my right little toe. Good. Now I swap foot. One. Stop. My right, second one on my right. Little touches. Stop. Last one on my left. Up there, perfect. 
Now, we're going to introduce a new skill. This is called the drag back, and what we're going to be using is our soul. If anybody knows where soul is? Start pointing now. Give you five seconds. Anybody got an idea? Well done. If you pointed to the bottom of your foot, just here at the bottom, this lovely part, that's called the soul. So now, with the drag back, we put our foot on top of the ball using our soul. And all we do is drag the ball back and turn our body. So ready, watch this again. I'm going to start here. I'm going to dribble. I'm going to stop the ball with my soul, drag it back and turn my body and then dribble again. I'll show you from when I'm facing forward. Ready? I dribble. I stop using my soul or the bottom of it. I roll it backwards and let my body turn and chase it up. Drag back and I turn. Now, we're going to dribble to the cone and we're going to be doing our skill. Hopefully you remember. It's called a drag back. Ready? I dribble, stop it with my soul, drag back, and I go again. Drag back, dribble, drag back. Good. I might use my other foot now. There. Dribble, 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 drag back, dribble, 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 drag, and breathe there. When I do my drag back, the ball is not going far away from me and I have to chase it for ages. Who done that? You want the ball nice and close. Like again, glue to our foot. So dribble, dribble, dribble. I stop and I do a little one so it's near my feet again. She's never running away. She's never running away from me. Ready? There, little. And I do a little one so it's near my feet again. She's never running away. She's never running away from me. Ready? There, little one. There, dribble. Perfect. Breeze there. We're now going to add in mm, two cones. We're going to put one near the middle. So we've got four cones near each other. Sound good? All we're going to do is, any way you want, you're going to go in and out of the cones. So I might use my inside. Oh, might use my outside. Might use my inside. Every time I get to a cone, I do a drink. So watch again, I might go outside, inside, and I go all the way around the cones. Drag back. So here I go again. I might do the penguin walk all the way through. And then a drag back. I might even use my outsides only and try and get it around. Whoop. Okay, just practice little ones like that. So ready? I'm gonna do the penguin walk. Penguin walk, I'll go through one. I go through the other and drag. Perfect. Now I might try the outside and go use my other foot, use the outside, drag back. Okay? Now, one more trick we're going to teach you. One of my favorites. We're going to call this the outside captain hook. Okay? What you need to do is where your outside is, your little toe, you're going to try and put your foot there and flick the ball backwards where it's going. So ready? I'm gonna dribble first of all. I'm gonna use my outside and flick the ball. Because my outside and my foot is pinky. So I dribble, watch, 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 watch. Outside in front, return. Okay, do it slowly and start. So I'm gonna use my cones. I'm gonna use my insides to go around them. Good. And then look, I use my outside to turn. So I go inside. I use my outside to turn. Practice these ones. So I'm going to give you five goes. Okay? You're going to go inside. And I want to see if I drag back. Or you can do an outside captain hook. So ready? I'm dribbling around any way I want. And then when I get to the end, I do one of the turns. I go here, I might do an outside hook again. Here we go. Outside hook. This last one, I'm going to do a drag back. Perfect. Practice those. Name the skills. We've got a drag back. We've got an outside captain hook. That's that for the first bit of the lesson. Pause now when you're ready. Push start.
Well done. That was our football PE lesson today. Hopefully you enjoyed it and there's going to be some future football stars out there. Okay. My first question, of course, we're going to get onto that. But what you need to do first is get a pen and paper as usual. So I'll give you 10 seconds. Hopefully you guys remembered by now, but I'll still give you 10 seconds. So you've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hopefully you're all set and ready. The first question I got for you was for the warm-up. When we played captains coming with the football, when we did our toe taps, what part of our foot did we use? That's one question. Add on to that question is, when we did climb the ring in, what was the other part of our foot that we used? Okay, so you might need to go back and check, or if you've got the best memory, you guys are gonna be experts and write it down. Our second question today is gonna to be down to, when we're dribbling, why do we want the ball close to our feet? Okay, so it's not just a one word answer, you can go on a little bit, or even tell your mum and dad or parent. Okay, our third question was, can you name me two terms we learnt today? So one of them was a, and one of them was using our salt. So if you remember them, write them down for us and write them to your parents. Perfect, well done today.